Well, good morning. It's Thursday, 28th of November, 2013, and I'm here at Singler's Marsh on the River Mimram at Wellin in Hertfordshire. Um, and it's a very exciting day today because we're going to be starting a river restoration project. Um, we'll be removing some silt from the bed of the river and replacing it with lots of nice clean gravel, which will be fantastic habitat for fish to spawn in and for invertebrates to live in and for plants like water crowfoot to um, get a foothold in. So let's go and have a look. Well, the River Mimram is one of Hertfordshire's chalk streams. Um, many would argue it's our finest chalk stream here in Hertfordshire. But sadly, um, for various reasons, parts of the river aren't as healthy as they should be. Another problem with this stretch of the river is that it's been dredged in the past. Um, so people have come along and um, scooped out the riverbed. So all the nice gravel that should be there has been extracted and just dumped um, on the side of the river. And because this site is so well used by local people, um, it's really important that they know what's going on and what's happening to their bit of river. Um, so we've tried to be as, as open and as, um, as sort of obvious as we can about the project. Um, it's on um, the Catchment Plan website and we've also put these posters up which are, are telling people that there'll be some work happening here over the next week or so. So behind me, just upstream, the contractors are busy putting some straw bales across the river and these are designed to catch any silt that might be released during the work um, so that we don't send that downstream and then cause any problems downriver. Well, it's day two of the project, um, the gravel has been delivered and um, there's a bit of gravel now in each of the four sites, um, so I'm just going to have a look how they've been getting on. lunchtime and the final lot of gravel has just gone in the river. Um, we still need to reshape it and spread it around a bit but hopefully later this afternoon we'll be nearly done. So Charlie, why are you raking out the gravel here? Uh, well, we're 
we're mixing together the two different sizes of gravel and we're also just reprofiling the ripple section so it's um, um, the right shape for the river. And why does it need to be um, a particular size of gravel here? Um, because of the fish that we're hoping will come and spawn in it. Um, they're probably going to be quite small, so um, they need to be able to move the gravel in order to lay their eggs. So. Okay. Could, could you show us some of the gravel? Yep. So we've got a range of sizes, but they're mostly sort of below 40 or 50 millimetres in size. And um, we've got some bigger bits as well. which are mixed in towards the, the middle and the bottom of the, of the riffle. And that gives a good setting, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, and it will, um, it will sort of anchor it all, and, and the big bits will remain fixed in place. And if all goes well, what are the fish species we're hoping will spawn here? Uh, well, we're really hoping for brown trout, um, maybe a few grayling as well. So, um, it's also fantastic for invertebrates as well, um, mayfly, um, caddis. Freshwater shrimp. So and are we planning to do anything to uh, monitor the invertebrate populations here as they develop? Yes, so that's, that's the exciting part really. We've got some local volunteers who've been trained up to do some river fly monitoring of all the invertebrates and they're going to come along and monitor these gravel sections to see how quickly the invertebrates come and um, colonise. Well, I'm very happy to say the project is now finished and we've just spent a couple of hours raking over the gravel um, just mixing together those different sizes of gravels and um, reshaping and reprofiling um, and we're just about done so time to go and have a nice cup of tea and warm up a little bit I think.